Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we're just gonna do a little bit of needs and wants and like things you actually need. So we're gonna start real quick with a little belly. We're almost there, 38 weeks in two days. Woohoo! And one of your biggest needs is a car seat. Do not forget the car seat. You can't leave the hospital without it. <laughs> um, I'll link the one we use below. I hope you enjoyed today's video, friends. Hi friends and welcome back to a new video. I just kind of wanted to go through a few like things that I would totally say that you need for a parent, for a kid, um, especially a new one. <laughs> um, I would say a bedside bassinet, especially if you're gonna um, breastfeed. I, that is my number one. I loved that thing for my first one and I'm really, really excited to use it for my second one. Um, I'm it's gonna be a great thing to have uh, the one we have it will open up onto the bed which I will you know show you in this video in this video and I will explain to you why we do that um, I am a breastfeeding mama and that seems to help me a lot so that I don't have to worry about it um, and my first son came as a c-section and this one is a scheduled c-section but we'll see what happens um, so that really did help a lot because I didn't have to move much it unzips on the side and it was just a lifesaver. So for a C-section mama, breastfeeding mama, that is like extremely important to me. Safe sleep's really important to me also, so that allows safe sleep for him and for me. All right, so when I discuss safe sleep, this is what we use, it's bassinet, and it can lift up and come onto the actual bed or just stay right here so that he is right there beside me, ready to go. Super easy, super nice, super safe. And this comes up to make it a full bassinet to close it up. The other thing I would say that you desperately need is a breast pump. If you're going to breastfeed, of course. Um, breast pumps are free through your insurance for most insurance plans. So just Google it. Um, I've had to use, I've used Airflow for both of my preg for both pregnancies. And they've been amazing. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything, but it's been a great experience. And I've never had really that many issues. Um, I did have to follow up with my doctor's office. That was it. Um, so it was not that bad at all. We have a nursery ready. We won't use it probably for the first six months. We'll see what happens. That's what we did for my son. We'll see what happens with this one. The other thing I would say you need is diapers. <laughs> diapers are needed, wipes, um, those things like that, that you just clearly need. Go whatever route you want. I choose disposable. It's just simpler for me. Uh, those are my two big things and clothes, you know, of course you need clothes. And a car seat like there's not these like perfect things that are definitely gonna work um i've had like the nose thing i've had all these special things and it's just not reality of like what you desperately need we have a mama roo i did not use it for my first son i have a feeling i will use it more for this one it's just the swing um so i'm hoping i use that again i would say books books are amazing for kids those are really important um uh, but those big Four things are, you know, somewhere for them to sleep safely, clothes, diapers, and food. <laughs> um, I did keep everything from our son. The other thing I would say is there's some things I don't did I did not buy and will not use, and I totally got rid of. But some of it I did keep. Um, my son did not swaddle at all. <laughs> After like the first day of coming back from the hospital, he just threw his arms out and was totally done. So I do have a few of those and I do have some of those like sleep sacks. My son didn't use those. He slept in full onesies. That's what made him happy. So that's what we did. We'll see what this one likes, but I have a feeling it's going to be close to the same. Um, there's just a lot of things that you really don't need. Like you don't need multiple, um, big car seats and things. Like we do have the two bases, one for my, my car, one for my husband's car. And then we have the, the like the infant car seat. My son has the four in one Graco and we love that one. And my hope is that he can stay in that until this one's ready for that one. And then I can just turn that one around, put it in the other seat and then get him like kind of like a booster, like the, you know, like the other one. So we'll get there. So you need a car seat cause you can't leave the hospital without a car seat. Um, and then I didn't, I haven't bought a wrap yet. Like I do have a Moby. I uh, did not use it a lot for my son cause he was an only one. So we just carried him. But I'm hoping to use it more for this one and then I'll go from there like and try to figure it out. My husband has a like full like toddler one that goes all the way to toddler, but I'm just not positive that's going to work for us. So we'll see. 
Um, there's other things like you clearly need diapers, but like you don't need a lot. Uh, and just a reminder too, like if you have certain ones that you're just not going to use, you can return those to Walmart. So that's good to know. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do that with and just, you know, there's just so many things you don't need. <laughs> and just be aware that like there are times when you're just going to like really, really want to buy something really, really, really bad. Um, and you think you're going to need it and you're going to use it every day, but you're just not. So just be aware of that. Be, you know, be a little bit more selective of what you're spending money on, especially if you're raising a baby on a budget. I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on things and especially for this next one um it just didn't make sense to spend a bunch of money so I haven't really bought anything specific because I just want to see how we go so we'll see how this goes and then if I need stuff as I go I will do that I'm a very good uh, my biggest thing would be just put things in the cart for three days like Amazon Target things like that leave it in the cart for three days see how it's going kind of go from there that has really helped me a lot and seems to be like everything and more. My friends, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you are able to raise a baby on a budget. <laughs> and if you need help.